everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be probably the most pathetic what I've been warming video I have ever done. <laughs> but it has been a week, so it is time to dive into my very, like, I don't know. I, I think for some of you, this may still be a lot <laughs> to have get, gotten through within a one week period, but um, I was gone for a couple of days this last week, so um, I didn't melt and get through as much as I typically do. So I just, I didn't want to like have this go on for two weeks just because I have a feeling like I'm going to do some serious, serious warming in the next week. So to try to keep this under, you know, 30 minutes. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and dive into my basket and just talk about what I did get through over the last week. So I did finish up with some dish soap in Sunkissed Citrus. Um, that's right, I do have some dish soap. Um, I stocked up on the dish soap like a mad woman when they announced that they were going to be discontinuing it. Um, so I do have quite a bit, but if you are someone who you missed out on the dish soap um, or you are all through your dish soap that you had stocked up on before they were discontinuing it, um, you can actually get the dish soap right now in Autumn Road Trip that is available for a limited time. So now is your chance, if you have been missing the Scentsy dish soap, go run right now, go to my website, your consultant's website, go stock up on some Autumn Road Trip dish soap. I love the scent, it's probably one of my favorites anyway, and the dish soap is absolutely incredible. One thing I will say with the dish soaps, I actually switch out the lids, the toppers here. I don't like these toppers. A, they're kind of harder to open once they like start to get all like gunky and stuff. Um, so I actually switch out these pour uh, nozzles and I switch it out to a pump nozzle. So I will just take the pump from the um, Scentsy laundry liquid. It fits this just perfectly. So I go ahead and use that. What I will say is that the little like straw tube situation doesn't reach the very bottom of the dish soap container. So once you're, you can't pump anymore, then I will save this lid and then I'll just like store it on its side. <laughs> so that way it's like, I'm not having to work super, super hard for it. And then that way I can use like the last little bit just with using that pour top. But that is your tip for today is if you are gonna pick up some of the Scentsy dish soap that is currently available while supplies last, um, if you use the laundry liquid, use that same pump when you're no longer needing it anymore and use it with your dish soap. It's fantastic, I love it. So finished up with the Sunkissed Citrus, sun Citrus dish soap there. Um, let's see here, got through, finished up with a hand cream in Starburst Sky. This one was a part of our Valentine's Day collection. I love this scent, so I think it was Valentine's Day. I think it was, um, love the scent, really great. I love our hand cream, I love our body creams. So nice, so moisturizing without being greasy. I'm here for it. Um, Finished up with some Daydream Oasis pods and swapped out for Scarlet Sunflower. Love, love, love the Scarlet Sunflower scent. So nice. It's such a good like fall floral scent. There are apple notes in there, so it adds a little bit of sweetness, um, but it's very fall appropriate, which I really like. So um, in case you are wondering what the heck a pod is, so our pods are um, a plastic casing that has fragrance beads inside. So these are made to go with our fan diffuser systems, our mini fan diffusers, our wall fan diffusers, um, our air purifiers, Scentsy Goes, tabletop fan diffusers, um, all of those things. So instead of melting wax, you have um, just the power of a fan that will push air up through the pods and you have instant fragrance without having melted wax or anything. So. Love that. So enjoying the Scarlet Sunflower and the pods. Okay, now it's all wax. Okay, let's let's talk about this situation here. So um, I am so happy. <laughs> I am so happy for this scent. So um, Very Peri Pumpkin. I did get through two of my bars of Very Peri Pumpkin. I have a whole boatload of Very Peri Pum Pumpkin because this was available for Bring Back My Bar. And I, you are my best friend if you uh, were one of the ones who voted to have it come back because it did come back and I, I could not be happier. Um, this is like the perfect 
start to fall pumpkin scent because it's not pumpkin spice. You do have the like sweetness of the pear, um, the sweetness of the pumpkin, no spice whatsoever. It's just, it's such a fantastic scent, but I will tell you, I'm kind of in the minority with this. <laughs> There's most people actually don't like this. Um, some people say it smells rancid. Some people say it smells like baby food. Um, my husband actually said that this smelled like something was burning, like burning, burning. <laughs> like, no, mm -mm. Oh, it's so good. I love this. Really, really good. So very pretty pumpkin going through my stash here. It is locked up in my club. So, and I'm, I'm really glad because I have lots of bars of it. So it's definitely going to like get me through this fall and winter season. And then I can then stock up next spring and summer for the following fall and winter season. So very peri pumpkin love it so good okay um i also got through, i went through kind of like some weird stages this last week um, of what i was feeling like warming because i went through like yes i need all fall i want it to be warm and pumpkiny and bakery and then i was like tahitian twilight <laughs> let's let's get fresh and fruity with it um so i got through three bars of tahitian twilight love 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 this scent this was a past scent of the month i actually need to add this to club because i will be devastated when this is discontinued this is still currently available but oh man this is so nice there's pineapple in this but there's other like fresh fruity elements to this as well and it's just oh it's so good so i love that and i got through three bars there um also got through a couple of bars i think a couple no just one um one bar of pacific mist so this one was another past scent of the month and this is so nice i and there's a lot of people who don't like this they're like it smells awful i'm like starting to question my sense of smell <laughs> i'm like i don't know why i don't smell what you guys are smelling but oh this is so nice this is it's like it's fresh and aquatic, but it's also kind of like fresh laundry as well. Oh, it's so nice. I love this. So Pacific Mist got through one bar there. I got through another bar of Very Perry Pumpkin because of course it's just like the best pumpkin scent ever. Um, I got through <laughs> three bars of my beloved Hocus Pocus perfectly wicked i am obsessed you guys know i'm obsessed with this scent i'm obsessed with this all year round this is not like a fall specific scent for me this is one i just absolutely adore all year long it's so good and if you like the smell of tom ford's lost cherry this smells exactly like that oh it's so good it's so so good love 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 this so i have had some people ask if i think that um the hocus pocus collection is going to come back if i think the scent is going to come back i have no clue i would think if they were going to do a re-release of this collection they would have done it this month i would think i don't know that they would do it in october maybe they would i don't know we haven't heard anything just yet so i just don't know i feel like if they were though it would have already been announced so my gut says no that they're not going to bring this back but i just don't know if they if they do announce that they will be doing a re-release of hocus pocus um of course i will come here first and let you guys know so if you are new be sure to subscribe okay uh also got through a bar of the scent of the month for this month which is frosted cinnamon roll which is absolute bakery perfection it's pumpkin cinnamon swirl without the pumpkin. So if you love bakery, but you don't love pumpkin, you got to give this one a try. It is delicious. Ah, delightful. Perfect. Okay. I got through also two bars of lemon coconut chiffon, which is another, this is a great, great lemon bakery scent. This is just, oh gosh, it's so good. This is everything I wanted in lemon drizzle cake but thankfully i have this in my club <laughs> so what lemon drizzle cake is not for me lemon coconut chiffon is so this is just it's fantastic this is like a lemon pound cake with a little sweetness of coconut not overly coconutty but just adds a little a little sweetness mm, and it's cakey and it's sweet and lemony and perfect okay the last bar that we're going to talk about is cinnamon vanilla so cinnamon vanilla 
um, is actually one that I was talking about in our sniff session series that we are doing together where we are sniffing our way through the new fall and winter 2023 catalog together. And this is one that didn't perform for me before. And I kind of talked myself into like giving this another try during that sniff session series. And I'm glad that I did. It's nice. It's nice. It's not crazy strong. It's still not crazy strong. Um, but I had this going in our bedroom and it was, it was nice. It was, it was really nice. I feel like it's a good balance. If you are like me and you're kind of picky with your spicy scents, you don't want it to be too aggressively spicy too like red hot spicy. Um, this is a great one because it's similar to welcome home in that it's sweet but you have that little hint of spice and this is this is great so it is more like vanilla forward with cinnamon on the back end and i like and appreciate that is it one that if and when it's discontinued it's going to go into my club no but it is nice and i am glad i gave it another try i may pick up another couple of bars um just to have and enjoy when i'm wanting something not just like a simple spice scent like not anything too crazy like complicated, but just like a simple spice scent. This is great because it's just a good balance between vanilla and cinnamon and it's it's done well. Not crazy, like I said, not crazy strong, but I actually kind of appreciate that in this scent now because um, I could smell it. So it, it wasn't a powerhouse, but I could smell it. Whereas before I felt like I couldn't smell it at all. Um, I could smell it, but I feel like the strength of it was done just right. If it was any stronger, I think it could be maybe headache inducing for some people if they're sensitive to spice. Um, but I feel like this one was done well. So there you have it. Okay. So that is my weekly, uh, damage situation here for what I have gotten through over the last week. I guess I did pretty good. I guess I did pretty good. I was gone for a couple of days, but, um, yeah. I still, I still worked it out for sure. So let me know down below in the comments, what have you been warming? Have you been doing some mixing? Are you in fall melting mode just yet? Are you still working on, on your summer melts? Let me know. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.